Hey everybody. So I'm getting set up here. You probably can't see my counter, but I'm gonna try to show it to you. So my kids just popped some confetti for me. So that's why I'm a little bit late. So I'm glad I didn't break my fast last night because I wanted this for sure. And I got my balloons. Let me see my balloons. Hi, hi. I put it on it. Uh oh. Just slide the chair over here. Just slide the chair over. And they got me these huge balloons. Look at this. How cute is that? And it says 40 on it. Isn't that adorable? You want to tie them on a chair and bring them back here? Oh, is that thing full of uh, bacon and, and uh... Watermelon and oh strawberries? Oh my gosh, bring that to me. I, I'm freaking out. This is why I'm going to die. Oh my gosh, this whole, there's a whole glass of bacon here. Strawberries, watermelon, kiwi. But mom, taste the bacon. I can't eat the bacon just yet. I know, we figured that. But so, we to get it for I will, this video, I hate to disappoint you guys, but I'm not going to actually be able to eat food in this video. But for those of you that don't know and you're just joining, I am getting ready to break my 41 day fast. This is, um, Gonna be the first thing that I have in 2021. Um, so, what I'm going to break my fast with is some electrolytes. And I've explained in some previous videos, I don't wanna bore you guys, but this is actually the most important and dangerous part of fasting is the refeed process. I don't mean to scare anybody, I'm not joking, I'm 100% serious, but you are more likely to die when you break a long fast like this than you are to actually die from the fast. So you have to be extremely careful. And the reason is, is because you could flood your body with way too many electrolytes and your body just cannot handle it. Um, and so the weird thing about it is that the people that have died from this, it hasn't been that many, um, but they've done it in an irresponsible way. They were uneducated and they just didn't know. Um, Huxley's trying to repop some of the confetti. My whole house is tore up. Um, but so it's really important that um, I am careful about that. I have never fasted this long before. The longest fast that I've ever done is 21 days, and I was very careful um, when I broke that fast. So I do promise to share this entire refi journey with you guys the same way um, that I've been sharing my fasting journey with you guys. Huxley, what's wrong? Oliver, it's okay. Chew up your he won't eat it. Um, so I do promise to share this entire process with you guys. So tonight, right now, I am just going to start with um, some electrolytes. I'm going to um, wait 30 minutes and see how I feel. I will say that probably about an hour ago, I started experiencing a pain. I've only experienced this pain um, one time, maybe about a week and a half ago. Um, and it was around this time during the day. It's like this, um, it's not really like a sharp pain, but it's a, uh, I don't really know how to, uh, to describe it. Um, but it's like, it's not in my stomach and it's not like in my chest area. It's like right here. I don't really know how to explain it. Um, but it's kind of like a dull ache, ache. Um, but yeah, so I don't really know what that's about, but we'll see what happens um, after I take this. Ollie's I don't know if you guys, here. literally Ollie's like walking around back here. Come here, Ollie. Look, he's literally walking around. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna start with some uh, pink Himalayan salt. And with this, usually I would just take a pinch of it, but I need to be very careful so that I know um, how much I'm taking in. No, Ollie, you're not having any bacon. So um, a quarter teaspoon of this is going to have 540 uh, milligrams of sodium. I'm gonna cut that in half and do um, an eighth of a teaspoon. So that's gonna give me 270 milligrams of uh, pink Himalayan salt. So I'm just going to fill that up and dump it right here into this bowl. You probably can't even see it. Uh, and then I'm gonna use some no salt. This is just the electrolyte mix that um, I um, usually take. People are saying it sounds like a gallbladder. I don't even know what that is. Sounds like a, someone who's got a lot of nerve to pee, a gallbladder. I don't know, that's what I think about. I'm weird. All right, I'm going to fill this up. Are you guys fighting? No, Huxley's just trying to play something right now. And I'm busy trying to watch. Okay, so the no salt is just um, potassium. Um, so it has 690 grams of potassium for a quarter tablespoon. I am doing an eighth 
I'm, I'm sorry, a quarter teaspoon. I am doing an eighth of a teaspoon. So that's gonna give me 345 milligrams of um, potassium. So I have that here. You guys probably can't really see that. You have that here. I'm gonna kick that back and um, drink some drink some water. Tell me when. Oh, you're gonna pop. You're gonna pop me again. All right. So this is the way I take my electrolytes. I don't mean to gross anybody else out, but these are my COVID fingers. So this is what I'm gonna do. I lick my finger and I stick it in. You. Very salty. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> she finished her fast. Oh, so that was really strong. Hey, Dad. Hi, Papa. Oh, my dad's requesting to be in my video. Hold on. Let's say hi to my dad. You want to come talk about? <laughs> Hopefully, he has on a shirt. It's kind of connected. Oh. Hey, Dad. Hi, Papa. Hey, baby girl. I'm so proud of you. You know I am. I wish I was there with you. Hey, baby girl, uh, Penelope. Say hi. Hi. You know, if I was there, I'd have to cook you some, uh, if you let me. What's up, Mikey? I'd have to cook you some chicken and rice if you let me, you know? I know. And that, I'm glad you're not here because I'm probably eating it. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's, I know that's doctor. still your, I see that. That's my favorite, too, the watermelon and the bacon. Bacon over here. I'm so proud of this girl, y'all. Y'all have no idea how proud I am of her. And, uh, you know, in some of our sessions, I was the reason why she had some uh, issues with her eating. So um, I'm very sorry that I did that to you. And uh, I love you, baby. And I'm proud that you got through 40 days. I thought she was going to die when I was there. It was driving me crazy. I wanted to feed you something because I saw how weak you were. And it was like, while she doesn't want to talk or anything. So I know this was tough for you, and but I'm very proud of you, okay? Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I love you. I really do love you, and I care about you. So you can take me off so I don't uh, end up stealing the show because, you know, all your fans probably like me better than they like you. <laughs> I love you. Probably. All right, let me see if I can figure out how to get you out of here. No, but I think I can hit my ex here. Let me okay. do it. All right, so that was my dad. He lives in Washington State. So the first taste of this salt was very strong and overwhelming. It's just been a couple of minutes now, and I'm still just going to finish this salt. I'm still having that weird feeling in my stomach. Thank you, baby. So. So you're officially done with your fast? Yeah, Oliver's trying to get my bacon. I've been trying to get my shoe for no reason. I don't know. So this just feels um weird. It feels really weird. I did not think that I would I didn't think that I would go this long. Um yeah, this is just um it just tastes like salt. So no salt is what they recommend to like heart patients when they're trying to get them off of salt. It has the flavor of salt, but it is no um no sodium. It's only potassium. And then um the pink Himalayan salt, which has confetti in it now, that is um only sodium. So I have the pink Himalayan salt and I have the no salt. So I'm just taking some sodium and potassium right now so that I know um I gave you guys the measurements already. I have about an eighth of a teaspoon of each in here. And I'm just taking it slowly so I know exactly um, how much of the electrolytes I'm getting so that I don't flood my body. I'm able to do it slowly and see um, how my body responds. Um, how much water did you drink daily while on the fast? I did not keep track of how much water I drank daily in the beginning of my fast. Um, when I was thirsty, I would drink. So if I felt thirsty, I would try to drink as much water as I can. The further into my fast I got, I'd say past 21 days. Um, oh, sorry, <laughs> my stomach hurt, is hurting. Um, when I got, <laughs> you hear Huxley? How about you eat some food then? Um, when I got past 21 days, probably around the 25 day mark, um, every time I drank water, every time I drank water, I would feel um, like, really nauseous and so I realized I was drinking way too much water um, 
Mom. Congratulations, Mom. Mom, you feel weird. Yeah, I feel really weird. You want a chair? Yeah, maybe let's have a chair and sit down. I don't know. I feel really weird. Um, no, Penny, I'm not going to die. Golden. Congratulations, Golden. Thanks. All right, I'm going to sit down and talk. You need to angle this or anything? Yeah, just lower this. When would you like start eating with strawberries? Tell me when. That's good. All right, so I'm just gonna I'm just sitting down a little bit. Um, yeah. So later on in my fast, I'd say past day 25, the more water I drank, I started to feel um, like nauseous and sick. And there were plenty of days where I was like um, gagging, almost like I was going to throw up, but I didn't throw up. I was carrying around like plastic bags in my pocket just in case. Um, and so what I started to do was I tried to um, sip on water, like force myself to sip on water, like take, take a sip of my water once every 10 minutes instead of like gulping it. Like if I filled my mouth with water, um, I was drinking um, too much. Um, and I realized that. So as I started to just sip slowly, thank you, baby. As I started to sip just slowly on the water, um, it was easier and I actually started to feel a little bit better um I will say I feel like the second half of my fast the second leg like after 20 20 days or so Oliver's still trying to get my bacon after um 20 days or so um I won't say that it got easier but I think I just managed um was managing my energy a little bit better um I was waking up pretty early, waking up at like three in the morning. I would start getting ready for my day around three in the morning <clears throat> because taking a shower was probably the hardest thing because the heat and then I didn't have a lot of energy. Thankfully, we have like a, a bench <clears throat> in our shower. So I was able to sit down and like take breaks. Um, and then I would have to turn the shower to cold because I would get like overheated. And then after I would take the shower, um, I would get out and I would just have to like, I would sometimes just sit for like an hour to build my energy back up to be able to like brush my teeth and um, do everything else. So I'm going to take another little pinch of salt. My stomach feels, I won't say it feels upset, um, but my mouth is starting to like water and almost, thank you, baby. <laughs> Hustle keeps telling me, congratulations, mom. Um, my mouth is like, feels like it's filling with spit, almost like it's like, salivating for more salt so it's pretty salty but i don't know it should be okay um so i can't really i can't even see thank you guys so much i appreciate your support so much i've had obviously lots of people um who don't agree but i'll say the first thing is i never came on here and asked anybody if they thought i should fast um until i think i got to 21 days and i was like do you guys think i should keep going or do you think i should stop um but when people are like i don't agree with you but um i really don't care if you like agree with me because i never ask you to agree like i'm not taking a poll online to see whether or not people agree with my fast um i said it from the beginning i started this fast not for uh, weight loss. I started this fast because um, I got diagnosed with a rare breast disease called idiopathic granuloma mastitis in um, July of 2019. Um, I've already had one breast surgery. I was supposed to have um, my breast removed and do a round of chemo. When I decided to fast the first time in December of 2019, I was able to avoid um, having that surgery and I had a surgery um, just to remove all of the scar tissue almost like three pounds of scar tissue in my right breast um, from the disease and I was doing fine I was feeling fine until about September of this year I started experiencing pain again um, and my doctor said they felt something I'll have an MRI in March but it's just always helped me feel better at the beginning of the year I, I usually always do a fast so I just decided to do it again um, thank you <laughs> Um, going into my fast, I kind of already had the idea that I wanted to do 40 days. I did not share that with anybody. Um, I didn't share that with anybody because I knew that people were going to tell me, um, I knew that people were going to tell me that it was dangerous. I knew that people were going to tell me that I couldn't do it. Um, I knew that people were going to try to make me feel like I was doing this for a reason that I wasn't. 
Um, I knew all of those things were going to happen anyway with just doing a 21 day fast. But I know telling people that I wanted to go for 40 days, um, it was, it was not going to, it wasn't going to go well for me. I don't think that I would have had the support that I had had I told people I was going to go um, for 40 days. But I kind of, I went into this knowing that 21 days was just the first leg um, of this uh, journey that I was going on. And honestly, people have obviously, obviously want to know how much weight I have lost. Thank you, baby. Um, in the beginning, I was sharing how much weight I lost. But then so many people were um, getting angry and upset with me because they couldn't understand if I wasn't fasting for weight loss, then why did I know how much weight I was losing? But the last time that I fasted I, for 21 days, I did not track my weight. And people thought I was lying because I wouldn't tell them how much weight I lost. So um, you guys need to um, take a bath. I started, I decided I would weigh myself and track it so that I could tell people that wanted to know. Um, but then people started reporting our videos saying that I was like advertising people to be anorexic and just all this craziness. So I decided not to share it um, about halfway through at my last check, um, probably about uh, 34 and a half pounds um, at my last check. Um, now, the thing about weight loss during fasting or just weight loss in general Weight loss in general, I do not count it as weight loss until it has been sustained or maintained for 14 days, two weeks. Um, so any weight that I lose from this fast really will only be something that I count two weeks from now. And two weeks from now, sorry, I feel like I have to burp really bad. Sorry, I'm a really good burper. Those of you who don't know, none of you probably know, I'm a really good burper. Um, but two weeks from now is my birthday. My birthday's in on the 26th of February. So I plan to eat cake on my birthday. Um, hair loss, I've not experienced uh, hair loss. So I did cut my hair maybe about two and a half, three months ago. Um, if you guys can see some of my older pictures, um, I have very long hair. Um, and I started, uh, started losing hair um, after my diagnosis. And I was put on like steroids, um, a bunch of different medications. I was on narcotics for seven months. months. I lost a lot of hair. Um, and then being in surgery for almost 11 and a half hours, just the impact of um, anesthesia on my body. Um, I lost a lot of hair and my hair was just really unhealthy. So one of my great friends, um, she, I trusted her enough to um, cut my hair. So I let her cut my hair, but my hair has been growing. It's extremely healthy. I'm actually, I need to um, wash it. So I'll probably wash it um, tomorrow morning. And then I will usually wear um, like a ton of coconut oil in my hair uh, for like two days or until my friend comes back over to wash it. She comes to my house and washes it because she's just great. So um didn't eat a strawberry. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't had any food yet. I'm just eating uh, salt here. I have an eighth of a tablespoon of um, potassium and an eighth of a tablespoon of uh, pink salt, and I'm just eating it slowly. Um, oh, hi, Mel's mom. No, you don't feel extreme hunger. Honestly, I don't even, honestly, I don't even feel hungry right now, um, to be honest with you. Hold on, guys. I think the salt went down my long pipe or something. So I'm not going to die. So what I feel, let me explain to you what I feel right now. Um, I'm just going to stand up. My stomach is hurting. I, I have like a pain right there. Hold on, let me pull my pants up. My stomach is hurting right here. I have a pain right here. I'm not really sure what this is. Some doctor probably knows what it is. Or I'll get my operation game and see what this bottom part is right here. This is hurting. Um, it was in the center, but now it's more like over here to the side. I won't say it's like hurting. It's um, achy. Um, and I feel like my chest is, um, like my heart is beating pretty fast. Like I, my heart is almost feels like it's um, thumping. So everyone's saying this is my gallbladder. Yeah, I don't really know what the gallbladder does, except maybe, does it help you pee? I don't know. I have no idea. My liver and gallbladder are over here. 
Okay, yeah. So that's what's hurting right there. Right here. It just, it feels like, it feels, uh, it feels sore. My throat feels a little scratchy. Some people say pancreas. I don't, how many things you got right here? I don't even know. But. Hmm. Okay. So everyone's saying it's my gallbladder. Yes, I got yes. Oh no. How embarrassing would that be? That would be really bad. <laughs> that would be so bad. <laughs> that would be so bad. Oh man. Okay, so I'm gonna have some more salt. I'm just gonna keep having this salt. Just to get um some electrolytes in slowly. What that smell? Is it this? It smell like sweet. Um, Something smells sweet. Maybe it's my fruit. When did you stop feeling hungry? Um so usually when I fast, if I'm already in uh, ketosis, I'm not going to feel hungry. Um, but this fast, I started, remember, I started um, on New Year's Eve. And the week between Christmas and New Year's, I had, like, one thing every day that, like, I don't normally eat. Um, like, uh, one day I had, like, popcorn. One day I had, like, a cinnamon roll. Um, and then the last food that I ate was um, sushi. Cooked sushi. Um, for my birthday, what kind of cake am I going to have? Um, so I'm really strange, and I like um, regular, like, box cake, yellow cake with chocolate fudge frosting. But there is a cake bakery that is not far from us called uh, Cakes Plus, and they make a cake that actually tastes, I don't know if it's disrespectful to say, but it tastes like, um, it tastes the closest to box cake mix to me. But they have yellow cake and chocolate fudge um, frosting. So I think that's the kind of cake that I want for my birthday. Take notes. What are you opening, Penny? The buttons. Oh. Penny's running for class president at school. She's running a really serious campaign. And um, she ordered some buttons that say, like, vote for Penelope. Here, what kind of food are you excited for? I want to eat steak and blackberries. Steak and blackberries. Oh, <laughs> it's not my 40th birthday. No, it's not my 40th birthday. I hope I look this good at 40. It's not my 40th birthday. Today is day 41 of my um, water fast. So did you, did your bowel movements change drastically? Um, so a lot of you guys ask this question and I might as well just talk about it here on this live. Um, so in the last 41 days, I've gone to the bathroom twice. Um, once on day 11, day 11, And the other one was like day 20 something maybe. But the interesting thing about fasting is there's not really anything to come out. Like the last foods that I ate might come out. Um, but also your body will get rid of any old um, waste that it's holding on to. It's not a fun time, I'll tell you that. Um, it's a very difficult process. Um, but it really does help your body get rid of any old waste that you have. It does take um, a long time. So no, you're not going to just, you're not going to poop every day when you're fasting. Um, if you are taking electrolytes during the fast, you are likely to um, have more bowel movements, but it's not going to be, it's not necessarily going to be solids. It'll be like uh, liquidy, but some people take enemas while they're fasting. I'm not doing that. Um, I don't advise sticking anything up your butt. Um, it's just weird and awkward and, um, it's just a very vulnerable thing, and I just, I, I would, I just don't do it. Um, yeah, no, I'm not 40. How old am I? 31? <laughs> right? Yes. I'm 31. We are actually just talking about this today at church. I can never remember my age because as a kid, whenever, I'm like one of eight kids, and we'd always go to um, buffets where, like, you paid based on the age. So I don't even put my dad's business out there. But they would ask, like, how old we were. And so my parents would always tell them we were, like, younger than we were because there were so many of us. And then we'd be like, no, I'm not eight. I'm 10 or whatever. And then we would get in trouble. So to this day, when someone asks me how old I am, I always, like, look around for some reason and, like, try to figure it 
out. But I'm 31. I will be 32 in uh, 16 days. I'll be 32 on the 26th. So today is day 18. Congratulations. So far, you've had two bowel movements. That's awesome. That's great. Anything that's coming out is old stuff that was in there. I feel like I'm going to burp. Oh, Ooh, come here. Let me see. Look, Penny got her little buttons made. I designed it myself. Vote Penelope for president. So cute. I get to have one, right? Yeah. I need to. I need to. All right. So I got a little bit more salt here. I'm going to, I probably got two more bites. Still a lot. You guys see Ali out there on the deck? Ooh. I'm sorry. That was me. I don't know why. Just me. <laughs> this stuff is so salty. I feel like my eye is twitching. Mommy, Mommy, I vote Penelope for president. I'm voting Penelope for president too. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, for those of you who are interested in fasting, you just stop eating and start fasting. That's it. Um, people make it so hard, but it's not. You just stop eating and uh what's in the white bowl salt no i have um sodium and potassium in here yeah you just it's not really anything uh complicated bop bop wants you to mail him a button oh yeah that's why we caught more so it's not fasting water fasting is not really complicated you just stop eating and you just start drinking water go wipe all his feet and let him inside okay mommy we should give all these Actually, you're going to love it. Thank you. Where's the bacon from? It's on the fancy coffee shop. Where's the bacon from, Mike? Roganarts. I kept calling it Ragamuffin. I said, I don't know the name. It's some place like Ragamuffin. So Roganart is the place that used to have the big pretzel sign that you would ride past that bakery. Is it just plain bacon? It's it's extra, it's crispy and it's delicious and I, as soon as I uh, had it, I knew that you would love it. And so you ate bacon without me? I went, I went with Scott. You haven't made anything with bacon in this house like in the last 40 days. So you're telling me you ate bacon. I had to try it before I would get it for your gift, for, for your fast celebration. If I, if I brought you back some bummy bacon, you'd be mad. It looks really good. Keep your hands away. Get your faces away from it. Yeah, if you drink, if you have, um, if you take medications and you want to fast, obviously that's something you need to speak to your doctor about. Um, when I did my first fast, my first 21 day fast, um, back in uh, December of 2019, um, when I did that, I was on medications. Um, however, the medications were not helping me. Um, so I did something that I don't advise other people to do against my doctor's advice. Um, or I should say without telling my doctor, I took myself off of all my medication and I just fasted because I figured it wasn't working anyway, so it really uh, didn't matter. And um, yeah, I mean, it helped me, but I don't know what type of medications that you're on. So if you're on medication, you need to speak to your doctor first before you just um, stop taking them or whatever. So I'm gonna try to finish this bowl, but. I have a question. <sighs> when is the next time you, you when, are, when would you be able to like, eat salt? I don't know. Maybe in a couple days. I'm probably not going to have this straw. I don't know if I'll be able to have this strawberry tonight. We'll see. Please, your Yeah, so, um, so you don't, I'm, let me be honest with you guys. Um, if you're already eating, if you're already eating a ketogenic diet, then the fast is not gonna be as difficult for you. Um, if you're used to that, you'll understand. If you've never done keto before, then you're not gonna understand, but there's a certain point during a ketogenic diet where your body switches over from using um, glucose or glycogen and it starts using fat for fuel. Oh, I gotta stand up because my stomach. Ooh. I don't know, guys. Stop staring at me, Mike. Yeah, you're making me feel nervous. Oh. You don't think you're making me feel nervous? I know, but don't look at me. If you hear a thud, it means I've dropped. No, that's why you need to stay in the chair. I know, but it's like, I don't know what's happening. 
Well, you're shocking your system with some sodium and potassium, right? Yeah. Okay, so maybe like no more and slow it down. And drink can you give me some more water? Of course I can. I'm, sp I'm starting to feel like extremely thirsty. Yeah, I know. He's concerned, but he's just staring at me and it's making me feel weird. So it's not pain. It's just like, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, so that pain, that, the pain that I was having right here, um, it's, I don't really feel it anymore, but my stomach just feels, uh, I don't know. It just feels weird. I can't even describe it. I don't know. All he had is wearing a button too. Oh, he has a sweater on. I don't know. I can't even describe it. It's not. I don't know. Um, I guess it's not. It's not comfortable. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Yeah, I guess it's my stomach just like waking up, but it feels funny. So the magnesium is like a muscle relaxer, right? Or a digestive system relaxer. What did you uh, end your last password? I don't even remember. Uh, is it soup? Shot? I think it was oh. I feel like, I don't know. If I have to burp, I'm just going to burp. We're close enough at this point where I'm just going to let it out. Huxley, the button doesn't automatically... I don't know. When I like press down on it, it feels a little bit better. Yeah, so I've broken my fast. I haven't had a solid food yet. I'm just having um, salt right now, and I'm almost done. I'm going to take the rest of this. It's either helping me or hurting me. Yeah. Is it like doing yuck fun dip? Like fun dip. Oh, he looks so cute in his little button. I vote If you guys could see what I see right now, my whole family is just staring at me like this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I have a vote for my for my price. Ready for crack present. Oh. I love receiving food. Yeah, get oh get a lot. It's a lot more cheap. Oh. <laughs> I feel like apple cider vinegar would burn the inside of my throat, and I would probably bleed to death. Oh, man. You're very, you're very discreet. Thank you, Penny. I don't have a crash present. Don't do that. You're going to rip your shirt off. All right. Look at Ollie's button. I don't know if I'm going to stay on here, but uh, The voting is only like the six kids in the class. Six kids, eight quick kids in the other class, and 12 online kids. So. Are you the president of the whole grade? No, it's just Miss Wayne lets the other um, kids in the other class vote too. Um, so Penelope is 11, and Huxley is 5. And Oliver, the baby, the puppy, he is going to be 1 at the end of March. Wait, so Daddy, is Oliver eating all the confetti? No, 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 I chicken and I'll see if he is snapping. Oh, yeah, he's just snapping. Yeah. What do you mean he's snapping? Sometimes he does that when he's about to lose a tooth. He got to lose a tooth already. Maybe so I'm not feeling button. really great right now. Beep. Thank you. Is it her time? Okay, I'll start. Of course, I felt burnt. I don't know why. So these jeans are like high waisted jeans, and I don't I feel like in my mind the button. I have to just unbutton my pants right now. Oh. Maybe getting a Go, go, last night. But that's 
some Wookie. I got mini browns. Oh, wait, I want to show you something really special. Guess what? Guess what I got you. Oh, wow. Okay. My stomach is hurting. I just need to feel like I need to just take a second. I want to burp, but I feel like I can't. All right, so this is really awkward right now. So far, I've, I haven't had any actual food. I've just had some um, sodium and potassium. Nobody's 40. It's 40 days. Actually, 41 days I've been fasting. But... Oh. I feel like if I make myself burp, I might throw up. This toe bot came? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so I'm trying not to cheat you guys and just shut off my camera. My friend is watching you from Africa. Who's your friend? Cleto. His, his Instagram Cleto. is Gleep. G-L-E-A-P. He's a guy I grew up with, like, since little, little. He says he needs your help. We're going to hook it up. I need help right now. <laughs> has on a sweater right now. Look how pink curve he looks. This is him wearing my button. Okay, Ali, we get it. He's like trying to like use me as like... Okay, guys. She has to sit down and go see. If you can you help Huxley? sleep? Go sit in your brown chair, Mama. Okay, so I'm not, I'm really not feeling well right now. Are you going to, are you going to, please sit down. Have you researched the facts, what happens after you eat? No, Penny. I just woke up and said, let me just do something completely reckless. What happens, what are the side effects when it's like, how's you eat something too much? I don't know. Cape Verde. That's where it's, that's where he's at. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to take a break for a little bit. And um, I don't know. Um, maybe I'll come back from my brown chair. But I'm not feeling really great right now. So, uh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to go um, put on some pajama pants and try to lay down. I cannot imagine that I have to go to the bathroom already, but I don't know. I just feel so weird. There's just a couple of grains of salt. Is it hard? How many salts? All right, guys. I hope he's really happy because he got his toy. I'm going to go lay down, and um, I'll come back and let you guys know how I'm feeling. Uh, yeah, in a little bit. So thanks for hanging out and watching. I'm going to be okay. I think I just need to go sit down and uh, figure out my life. You can say a little, a little bit. She said don't leave her. They said don't leave mom alone by herself. No, no they're not. They're gonna take everybody's gonna take care of me. I literally have three people that are just sitting here staring at me right now, and including 
all the people on Oliver's staring at you. He's trying all right. to video. I gotta go. Oliver's trying to steal my bacon.